The official Grand Theft Auto 6 website has gone live. This is what it looks like, rockstargames.com slash six or Roman numeral VI. And you can see that this is sort of the official wallpaper with Jason and Lucia. We'll sort of break it down a little bit as we go on, but it gives you an option to watch the trailer by clicking the play button on YouTube. And then if you actually decide to scroll down, the artwork sort of morphs into the official Grand Theft Auto 6 logo, which is really cool. And this is all that is on the website so far. Welcome to Leonida. Grand Theft Auto 6 heads to the state of Leonida, home to the neon-soaked streets of Vice City and beyond in the biggest, most immersive evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series yet, coming 2025 to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. So 2025 is the current release year. It is only coming for the current generation consoles. So sorry, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. You guys are getting left out of this. That is no surprise that they were only going to release this for the current console generation. And also no mention of PC, which is a little bit unfortunate. It looks like PC is going to have a delay, just like what we saw in Red Dead Redemption 2 and in GTA 5. Now it also gives you the option to watch the trailer again if you want. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that it is still rating pending and it may contain content inappropriate for children. You have the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S logo and the Rockstar Games logo. And that right there is pretty much it. I'm sure as more information comes about, Rockstar will update the website with more information about this massive title. Now, I wanted to talk about the background of this, the official artwork, and I was waiting to get sort of the HD version. And I was also waiting to be able to break it down in its own individual scene. So let's take a look at this right here. You've got Jason and Lucia sitting on the hood of a vapid vehicle. Looks like a picador with about five or six bullet holes in the passenger's side. Jason is holding a standard pistol, and Lucia, interestingly enough, has an ankle monitor on her right ankle. This is something we'll talk about in future videos, how that might relate to the actual story. And also, sort of a fun fact, these are the exact same outfits that we saw both Jason and Lucia wearing in the leaks that happened back in 2022. So I don't know if Rockstar was subtly acknowledging that, or if these are truly the default outfits for these characters. Now, the license plate says VEVF66, I believe. As you guys know, we are in the state of Leonida, which is also called the Good Time State, a parody of Florida and the Sunshine State. Now, if we take away Jason and Lucia, we can see a handful of the buildings in the background, including the most one closest to us, which is the Atlantis Hotel. You also have the seahorse and then another establishment, which I can't really make out. That's like the one that I wasn't able to get. And then you might notice that those palm trees and the three seagulls that are flying as well, those are the exact same ones from the very first official teaser when Rockstar said they were going to release the trailer on December 5th at 9 a.m. And they did end up actually doing that. Rockstar Games did put out a newswire. You can go to that newswire post as well that basically tells us the exact same thing. It links to the YouTube video and tells us the short description that we just ended up looking at. So there really isn't anything new there. And the only thing that Rockstar has done on social media is put out another announcement. This time it says, here we go again. Watch Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer one now on YouTube. So that first part, here we go again, certainly has to be a response to the fact that last night the trailer leaked, so they had to release the entire thing early. And other than that, on all of their other social media platforms, Rockstar have just simply updated a little bit of their branding, like their cover photo, to show Grand Theft Auto 6 coming 2025 with rating pending. That's like that on Facebook, Instagram, and X. And to give you guys an update on the view count of the official trailer, because it has broken some serious records as I'm recording this video right now, the trailer has nearly 70 million views in its first 
15 hours. Now, I think that was a little bit helped out due to the fact that, yes, it was leaked early and Rockstar did release it early, but still nearly 70 million views in 15 hours. That is absolutely wild and it is breaking records. It is the most liked trailer posted on YouTube right now. The record was held by the Avengers Infinity War official trailer, which racked up 4.1 million likes in over six years. And the GTA 6 trailer beat that in just a few hours. And as I'm writing this video, the trailer has 7.6 million likes, so it's closing in on 8 million. That is insane, and the previous gaming trailer with the most likes was Battlefield 1's official reveal trailer that had 2.4 million likes. Now, the GTA 6 trailer also broke another world record as it became the most watched non-music video in the first 24 hours. That was previously Mr. Beast's 7 Days at Sea, which had achieved over 46 million views within its first day and was the record holder until the GTA 6 trailer came out. And again, as I'm recording this video, we are creeping up on 70 million views, which of course blows by the record, and it's only been up for 15 hours. Now, the real question is, is will it catch the most watched video in 24 hours? That would be the music video Butter by the group BTS, which got around 108 million. We could see the GTA 6 trailer capture that. Remember, there's a lot of people that might not have known it came out early and still thought it came out just a few hours ago at 9 a.m. Eastern time on December 5th. So we could start to see those views rack up. Unfortunately, we only have about eight more hours to get basically 40 million views, but it can be done, I believe, in the GTA 6 community, and I think that they can do it. I know I've at least contributed to a handful of those views, and that's kind of one of the questions I want to leave for you guys right now. How many times have you watched the trailer? I'm obsessed with the song by Tom Petty. I keep going over all the cool scenes that they've showed, so let me know in those comments down below. And another fun fact is the Rockstar Games YouTube channel has exploded. It has gained over 1.6 million subscribers in the past day. Before the trailer came out, they had around 7.5 million subscribers. Now they have over 9.1 and are creeping up on 10 million subscribers. That is a diamond play button for Rockstar Games, and that's pretty cool. So that is the quick little update that Rockstar has provided us, a new official website, which is super cool. Some neat details about the game itself, the ability to watch the trailer, and I guarantee you that that website is going to be getting updated over time with loads more information. So as soon as that does get an update, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted. But for now, that is Rockstar's official website update for Grand Theft Auto 6. Let me know what you think of it in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.